Hello ladies and gentlemen, then I do go here and in today's video I will show you how you can reserve your company name in Nigeria with CAC. CAC means Corporate Affair Commission and they are taxed to the responsibility of registering businesses and company in Nigeria. So I will show you in this video, in this quick video, how you can reserve your company name for up to 60 days and this is going to avail you with the opportunity to get it registered in Nigeria and with this you can be able to go forward and show you that your company is registered and this will increase your level of profitability so guys let's jump right into the video ensure you subscribe share with your friends and family so you click on the link below and you'll be brought straight to this place where you can actually reserve your name with CAC your company name with CAC so the, there are two steps we are going to do here which are very important the first step is to make a public search now making a public search is to search for ex existing entity to confirm if the company you want to register has already been registered by somebody else or not so you come here and you click space that they go search here you search the name of the company let's say i want to register kingdom kingdom okay let's call it kingdom limited as a complaint so i want to search for it and see if there's any complaint that bears that name so as you can see here there are companies that bear nearly kingdom limited and so it means that i can i won't be able to register so even though i come to business name here there are still complaints that bears that name so i have to search for something else so let's say I'll, i'm going to search for another name if i want to put kingdom there then i might need to change it. so let me say I want to call this Dantops Kingdom. So you have to make sure that the, your name is unique and nobody else is using it. So limited. Then you click on search again to see if the business name is going to appear. So if you click on search and there's nothing that is very close to your name appear, then you can move on to the second step. So if this search is going to enable you to know if somebody else is using your business name, the business name you intend to use, if somebody else is using it because if somebody else is using it, you'll be able to reserve that business name. So you understand, guys. So now we have confirmed that this business name I'm using, for example, is not being used by somebody else. Then I can go to the second step here. The second step is for me to reserve the name, and it's super super easy. So for me to reserve my business name, you click on reserve name now. So if this is your first time of being in, in coming to CAC and uh, website, you you need to sign up so you come here and click on this particular sign up button and you sign up so now there are things you can do here the first thing you can do is that you use your phone number to sign up or use your nin to sign up so let's say for example i want to use my phone number to sign up so i'm going to just press my number here so press my number and when i press my number this thing is going to roll you can see this button rolling here it's just it's going to roll to confirm your details so after a little while, if you finish rolling, it will pop up to the next option where you can actually start your registration. So you might just have to wait for some um, for some minutes for it to finish loading. So guys, and if for example, if you are a new person and you've started before, maybe after your registration before, you can just come here and click on this particular one here, which is continue existing or query registration. Or if you are not in Nigeria and you want to register your business, you just come to this particular option here, which is um select here if you are creating an account as a non-nigerian so after i have done that you just have to wait for this to mark so this particular icon here is going to change and turn to mark like this just have to wait for that so if it's doing um it's doing, doing very slow like this you just have to refresh it this, this, this is what i do i do refresh it and redo it again or better still i do that option of clicking on this three icon here this three particular icon here i'm just going to click on it then i will locate this desktop site so you can come here you see this place desktop site so i'm, I'm going to click on it to convert my phone to like a desktop yeah like like a laptop or something like something of such then you come back here and put the phone number you typed earlier so i'm going to put the phone number okay just put the phone number and um, wait for that to just mark so now that it has finished loading it has gone they are, you click on next so you click on next, it's going to take you to the place. So yeah, you can see that NIN service is currently unavailable. Just have to close it, then refresh it again. And let's see if it's going to go this time around. You put in the phone number again. So this is how you can actually try to um, bypass this place if you are having error like this. So let's click on next and let's see if it's going to go this time around, guys. 
So as you can see, it has gone through for me. So with that, you can be able to bypass this process of this rolling and rolling. Now, if you are, want to register as an accredited agent, you have to click on this. And for you to be an accredited agent, you must either be a lawyer, a chartered accountant, a chartered um, secretary. But if I registration as none of this, so it means that you are registering to register only your, your business, not somebody else's business. So just fill up all these details, guys. So you like this, as an individual, you fill up all these details and click on register. So they will send you, um, they, they, they will send you um, verification. So for this, you can register. So me, I've already gotten, a, I've already gotten my registration already. I've done my registration. I'm just going to click on sign up here, which is up here. I'm clicking on the sign up and I'll be able to sign, to log in into my account. So guys, I like logging in with email or phone number. So I'll click email here and put in my own email that I used to register. Started, then I'll click on I'm not a robot. Then you click on submit. So when you click on submit, it will take you to where you can actually put in your password. So the password you use in registration, this is where you put in the password. So, guys, you just have to wait for this to load. You notice some sometimes it gives some issue that it just keep loading, it should not go to just refresh it. If you do that again, you refresh it and it's going to go through, right? Because this is what I've been doing in my own case here, and it do goes go through. So, guys, if you are trying to register for somebody else, do not use your own account, except you're an accredited agent. Do not use your own, your own account to register for that person. Because if you use your own account to register for that person, you will be the subscriber or you automatically become a partner, you, are, you automatically become one of the owner of the business. So use that person details mm -hmm. to register. So now we are now here, I'm gonna put in my password. And click on login. So I am logging in straight into uh, into my account. So it's going to log, log in straight to my account. I'll give you some few time to um to load in. And if it's still giving you the same issue, all you have to do is just to refresh it. So but if I have to refresh from this particular place, you might need to go back to where you can put in your login details again. So I decided to make all this so you can see that this way you can actually do some little job shooting if you are facing problem in signing up and or facing problem in logging in. So here it's just showing login and it's going. So now I successfully logging into my own dashboard. So things happen, you know, due to network, this and that. And you can see this on, on a normal day, there should be options here, like the number of something to be there. So you yourself, you might see it, but the time of registering this um, video, doing this video is not there due to network. I believe it's from their own end. So we want to reserve a company name. We want to reserve our own company. You have a company, you want to register, you want to reserve it. So all you have to do is to, to click on new name reservation. So you click on new name reservation. There are four steps you are going to do. So guys, I'm doing, you are seeing my screen this way because I enable you to be desktop site. I show you this initially. I enable this to be desktop site, so you can also enable your own to be desktop site, so you can see this way. So it's what is using system. This is going to be now, guys. There are some things that is very important in registering your name. That's why we did the first step. We did the search to ensure that nobody is using the name because it's what is using the name or something that is very very familiar to the name. That name will not be reserved for you. That is the first thing. And the second thing that you must do that in your business name, in your company name rather, ensure that there is no chambers of uh, chambers of commerce there. Ensure they don't show our commas as uh, unless if the company is limited by guarantee. So leave a move away anything like chamber or anything like commas. And also ensure that the business name is not some is the company name rather is not something that may cause national um disunity. So ensure that. So let's say for example, I come here and I want to search, I, I want to give give my business name. So the first thing you do is to click on this place known as you click on this place known as classification so you click on classification and select the type of classification now now in this particular video you want to register a company so you select a company and remember that a company enjoy a different legal entity from other um types of business so here you select the specific type so we have like um six specific type of company so we are going to register our own with private company limited by shares so if you are a, a just starting your business in school or this or that so your, your business might if it's part private meaning that it is you or some partnership something that is actually running it then you go with the first one which is private company limited by share so guys i will select the first one here and you now come to this place, proposed name. So you put in your proposed name here. So if I register a complaint, it must end with limited or unlimited. So since we are registering our complaint, so what we use this one, Dantos um, Kingdom. I think this is what we do that and Adam Kingdoms Limited. So there must be limited in your name. Now, this option two is going to be the second name you propose in case this first one is rejected. But in most cases, in my own research that the one that CAC lay emphasis on is actually option two. They do not play FRC on actually option 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 two. They place FRC on the option one, not option two. So you can decide to leave option two the way it is. Then click on save and continue. So but if you run into error in that first one, then go back to that place where you put option two, put another name there, or put the same name there. So now we are in second 
place there, which is objective. What is the reason for you doing this? So we, are, we do this because we want to register it as a new uh, complaint. So you click on new incorporation slash registration. Then you can just leave the rest. Then come down here and click on save and continue. So you click on save and continue. Here you're going to do a review that will tell you that, okay, have a look at what you have registered, what you have submitted with us. Are they legit? Or uh, this is what you want? Because immediately you pay your money, you'll be able to change this. So you just come here and click on save and continue if you have checked everything that is correct. So the next thing you are going to do here is to... um. You are going to pay the sum of 500 naira. You can see the sum of 500 naira. So just come to this remitter icon here and click pay. Now, actually, you will not pay 500 naira. You will pay approximately like 600 naira. Click on naira. So you understand. So with this, you'll be able to um, register, be able to preserve, reserve your company name. So then we can move on with the part two where we are going to register it as a company. So guys, we are now here. All you have to do is you just come come straight here and click on submit. Then you click on submit. When you click on submit, it's going to take you to where you can actually pay. That's for the class sum of money, which is only out there. But so that there are ways that you can actually pay. Is it that you pay using your card, or you pay using your account number, or um, bank branches, or USD, or online banking, or you pay through remitter, or wallet, or you pay through your phone number? So these are the ways you can pay. So I'm just going to select. So you can actually select with your with your um, card number, you click on card number, you put in your, your, your digits of card number, you put in your CVC and you pay the sum of money. So I my my year, let's say for example, I want to go with bank account. So you come here, you select bank. The only bank you can actually pay on where is is UBA. So if you're using UBA, this is very good for you. Or you click on branch branches, bank branches, then all you have to do is just to go to any of your bank, copy this particular this thing, give it to them and you pay. It's super super easy or you pay with ussd so to pay with ussd you have to select provider so you click here um you select the, the provider so let's say for example you're still using my bank so you select for example you with my bank i select with my bank and this is going to pop for me all i have to do is just to this particular option i'll click on continue and automatically just go and with this i can pay the social amount of money i want to or you go with in internet banking these are the options available, guys. These are options available, and you can actually go with any one of them. So with this, you are good to go. So let's say, for example, I want to do this registering with my card. I come here, put in my card details, and I submit. Then I'll pay that some, some amount of money. Then I will receive my receipt, and CSA is going to acknowledge that I've paid that money, and we check my, that we check to see if that name is actually available. So guys, this is how you can be able to reserve your name. Now there are two things they are going to do to, do to you: is either they approve the name or disapprove the name so if they disapprove the name they'll tell the reason why they disapprove it so you just have to do the step again and again now mind you when you have submitted the name you cannot take that money back if they disapprove it so you have to be very careful in reserving your business name so this is how you can reserve your company name with this you are good to go so guys um if you are interested in knowing how you can actually go forward to get a certificate just comment in the comment section that okay i am ready to go for the part two and with this i will make ready the part two where you can register your company and get the certificate i will walk you through everything from a to z so please subscribe to this youtube channel so you don't miss out from the next video i look forward to seeing the next video thank you so much and i love you take care of yourself thank you